So guys, for the first method, you want to unplug your keyboard and then plug it back in. And now for the second method, you want to unplug your keyboard and then plug it back into a different USB port. And now for the third method, you want to right click on the Windows Start icon and then click on Settings. And now once you're on this, on the left hand side, you want to click on Accessibility. And then you want to scroll down and then click on Keyboard. And now once you're on this, you want to find Filter Keys, you want to make sure that it's been turned off. You want to turn off Filter Keys. And now for the next method, you want to right click on the Windows Start icon and then click on Device Manager. And then once you're on this, you want to click on your computer name and then click on Action and then click on Scan for other changes. See if that fixes your problem. And now you want to expand keyboards. And if your keyboard did appear, you want to right click on it and then click on Update Driver and then click on Search Responsive for Drivers. Make sure you have the best drivers for device installed. And now for the next method, if your keyboard allows you to type, then you want to head over to Search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you run this, you want to type in msdt.exe space full slash id space device diagnostic. Click on enter. And now this will come up. You want to click on next. And then you just want to run this. You want to follow all the steps that will come up. And then hopefully that'll fix your problem. Now once you complete all these methods, I also recommend doing a restart of your computer. And then you should be good to go.